Um, like I said, I live five minutes down the road in Mooresboro, North Carolina, a very, very small city. And I could actually ride my bike here when I was younger with some of my cousins and siblings. And um, just, the, just, just great to be able to call a place home, even though you're far away from home all the time. But you always know you can come back to a place and you're always welcome. In any competition or anything I do, I always give God the credit and I always do it for everyone else beyond, besides myself. And to come back here to Crest and to Garden Web and the like is just an honor just to be here because a lot of people don't know that when I was on breaks and things like that from Western Carolina, throughout my career at Western Carolina and even in the professional ranks, I would actually train here on this track. Um, hot, 90 degree weather, black top track and you know, it, a lot of people would be like, why are you practicing out there? You can go somewhere else or go to any other country you want to, to train. And because this is home. I live five minutes from here, and um, I would even have people come out to watch me train. And it's always an honor just to put on a show for people because that's what they want to see. So I'd like to give back to the community, and this is one way of doing that. So I, I'm just honored to be here. Um, Faith Focus to Finish came about um, about a year ago. I sat down with my coach, and you know we decided that I was going to really take the sport serious and, you know, take advantage of the opportunities that I was given. And um, I went to a tattoo parlor that night and I, I came up with it. I just said, you know, I'm going to tat it on my arm. I'm going to live by it. And when I get in the blocks, that's the last thing that I, I see. So I drop my shades down and I recite that. I'm very, I'm very driven by God and I believe that his word is true. And this is just something to keep me, you know, in check. Well, I slipped three, three days prior to competition. A lot of people kind of missed that in the media, but that's what, that's what set the injury up. And um, right at 100 is where I started to feel a little iffy. I was like, something's not right here. I got to keep pushing. So I got to 200, and that's when it snapped in half and broke. Uh, just had to make the decision at that point. Was I going to you know, lay down and let those three guys that were waiting for me down and the whole country that's depending on me to get the stick around, or was I going to just suck it up and just make it? I had a great Olympic experience, um, ran with some great guys, um, beautiful team, beautiful teammates, beautiful coaches, just overall just an unbelievable, indescribable experience.